Hello guys, you are welcome back to this series on JavaScript. My name is Abida Kunta Yemife, an instructor at SK College of ICT. In this video, we'll be looking at data types. Data type is not a big deal or a big word, it just simply means types of data. As simple as that. So sometimes you need to know the data type of something so you know how to process it. You know, a computer is an electronic device that takes in data, processes it, and delivers and how to put our information. So you want to know the type of data you want to process with your computer. Like you see this way, the way you are going to handle number, different from the way you handle different from the way you handle name. I can do something like this one times six. And uh, it's going to keep uh we're going to get six. But how do you do something like this? Tyro or maybe tire times sniffer. This is not going to work. It's not going to work because you can't multiply this by this. So you can, do, you can multiply this one and six together because the two of them are number, but these two are text. So there's no way you can do that. It's good to you know the data type of a variable so you know how to handle the variable and you know how to manipulate it effectively. Let's get started to work. Under data types, we have the primitive data types and the uh, structured data types. But I will not be going into that. I want it to be as short as possible and also get to the basics. So we have number, we have boolean, we have string, we have undefined, we have null, null, then we have object. On the object, we have array and object itself. So these ones are known as primitive data types, while this one are known as structured data types. But I will not be going into those. I've just explained this. Do you, these are, I believe these are you need. And I want it to be as simple as possible. Now, uh, how we come in this, that we now start to learn with them one after the other. Let's start from the first one. Number. I can say, Okay, if you have a variable, I can have a variable num equals to 15. It means that I create, I asked JavaScript to create a container for me, label is num and it starts with into heat. So whenever you have an integer or a float, a float is a number with decimal, they are all of data type number. They are all of data types number. We will not be dealing with we will not be dealing with the operations of number or half all these data types in this video. We'll be dealing with them later. This video just to introduce the data types and uh, the operation of the data types will be will be discussed uh, later. In this case, I have a variable called number and I have JavaScript to insert 15 inside it. So I can now do something like this. In JavaScript, there is a function called type of the function of this type of is to check the data type of a variable. Is to check the data type of a variable. That is, tell me the data type of this variable num. Tell me the types of data inside num. The type of data inside num. Do you understand it now? I'm telling JavaScript to tell me the data type of data inside num. If I go to the browser, I will not see anything. Can you tell me the reason? Good, because I'm yet to use any output command to display it. To, to make your user see anything in JavaScript, you need to use an output command. So like, I can use alerts. So this alert switcher will deliver the value here to the person. So number, number. So if I change this to 15.9, it will still be of type number. Good. So that's the number data type. It takes in number. And I can also choose to do something like this. Tell me the data type of seven. Tell me the data type of seven. So I will still see number. Do you understand now? So that's on that number. Let's go to the next one. The next one is bowling. Boolean is anything that is either true or false. Either true or false. I can say variable check. I put the variable for check. And I pass to inside it. So the other type of check is Boolean. The 
which is the type of check is boolean and is that say that true or false is a boolean so let's go to the browser and say it but i can also say false i'll still say boolean that type is boolean do you understand it now so or false that then we return a boolean as it is a type so let's go to the next one we have string string look at something if I say variable name equals to Taiwo and I want this on the browser, I'm going to have an error. The reason is this um, I actually have asked to get a container for me, label list name, and insert Taiwo inside this. But when the JavaScript gets here, if I do something like this, alert name, in the JavaScript gets here, but let's first on it for you to understand it better. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Check your console. I told you console is for developers. You see, Taiwo is not defined. What, what that means is JavaScript does not understand the meaning of Taiwo. JavaScript does not understand the meaning of Taiwo. Because when JavaScript sees this Taiwo, JavaScript will start searching all this place for the variable called Taiwo. But since there's no variable called Taiwo, it's going to throw back an error. Look at it. Let's let's see another thing together. Let's say variable num equals to let's say it, and I say variable name equals to num. Then alert name is going to work perfectly because I first created I've created a container called num. That's why I can use the num here. But let's assume there was no container called num. If I use num here, it's going to throw back an error because it won't understand the meaning of num. So what happened the other time was that um, we didn't create any container called Taiwo and we tried to use Taiwo. So it's going to throw back an error, and before you can use Taiwo, you have to first create the container called Taiwo. So now the problem with that is, uh, how then are you going to use probably a text? Let's say I want to create someone's name and I want to create something like variable name because it's Taiwo. How do I do that in JavaScript? What you do is this: uh, you put a quote and it, whether single quote or double quote, depending on your choice. So you put a quote around it. With the JavaScript, you understand it. The reason is because, uh, let's go to English language, eh? in our GNS general subject, uh, our English language, we know that whenever you use quotes, you are delivering the words in the exact words of the speaker. You are delivering, delivering it in the exact words of the speaker. You are telling the person that this is the exact words. You are saying it in the exact words of the speaker, or you are writing it in the exact words of the speaker. So the same thing there, whenever JavaScript sees these quotes, but that single code or double code, JavaScript will not try to process it. It won't take the pain of searching to your code or your scripts to find any variable called Taiwo. You just know it has to do copy and paste. It just, not, it just has to uh, absorb it like that. It won't try to process it. It won't try to, let me say, understand it. Do you understand that? JavaScript will just take it from you in that format. It won't take the pain of going to your scripts to find the variable called Taiwo. So, if you want to deal with text, if you want to display text, if you want to do anything with text, you have to put it within quotes like this to make JavaScript realize that uh, don't try to process it, don't try to understand it, don't go to my code to find the variable called this. Just use this text in the exact words, in the in the exact way it is. Uh. So, do you get it now? So, this is going to work perfectly with Taiwo. That is string. Anything within code is a string. Anything within code is a string. So if I have variable nine equals to seven, seven is a number, right? But because it's within code, it is a string now. It is a string. It is a string. So if you now check the data type of seven of this name, you can say alert. Type of I told you the other time that uh, the type of is to check the data type of a variable. So let's check the data type of this name. Can you see it's the same? Even when it has a number inside, it's the same thing if you have. So I don't know. Ordinarily, two is a boolean, but because it's within code, it is a string. So do you understand it now? That's a string. That's how like string works. Uh, how I'll be stopping this video is getting so long. Uh, in the next video, I continue data types from there. Thank you very much.